Disclaimer, today's video is going to be a drinking game video, which means it's likely not going to be the usual family-friendly stuff that I make, and it will contain um, drinking, <laughs> consumption of alcohol, um, possibly adult themes, and also quite possibly cursing, so please do use your own discretion when watching this video. And always remember that if you are going to partake in drinking games or any other sort of activities in real life, always do so in moderation and in a safe environment around people that you trust. The general rules for the drinking game are that uh, before I start the challenge I will take one shot just to kick things off and that there will be at least a five minute cool down period uh, between shots just so that I have enough to process what I've already taken uh, because um, I know my limits, and if I hit my limits, I will call things off, take a break, and maybe continue a little while later once things have cooled down. Because while it's fun to have a little drink every now and then, it's important to know when to stop. So, with that out of the way, let's get into the main video. Hello everybody, and welcome back with CAC, as we return to Faith. But this time, Chapter 2 is going to be another round of the drinking game, and... I'm hoping everything will go smoothly today because today is the only day off I have before Christmas and everything's going to be very hectic at work. I'm in again tomorrow at like 5am so if I get smashed today then oh boy I'm gonna suffer. That just means I'll have to, I'll have to do good and uh, not get mortised too many times. But as per drinking game rules we start off with a quick one to get going. So I'm going to pour myself another another shot of this delicious cinnamon whiskey concoction. That was not the word. I promise I haven't started drinking already. But here's how things go. Cheers to you guys. Here's to today's journey. <laughs> okay, let's get back into it and join John Faith on his adventures. Oh, hey, guys, new priest just dropped. Hello? Okay, so we've got like a one room bed sit going on here. Shower, toilet, right in view of the bed. Excellent, excellent setup. So yeah, this is uh, Father Garcia, right? Father Garcia, yes. You are hereby instructed to release Michael Davis from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davis have already contacted, been contacted by our office. Representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return. Ah, that was the note from the last one, yeah. So, um, yes. Michael Davies is the little skidoodly dude. He's got his Bible on the bed there. Grab the Bible! No! At least make your bed, dude. Anyway. Moving on. One day. Two weeks. Oh no. And then... There we go. Three months. That's him. The skidoodly dude. Up and down in the basement. Okay, it's not cute anymore. If you find it to be people. <laughs> I gotta blast him. Blast him with a cross. Wah! Oh, he's bleeding. Ah. There he goes. He's skadoodling. I'm not sure where he goes. Probably. Oh, hang on. I'm bumping into something here. Took the lights out. Ah, oh, I can't see. Ah! Oh, okay. Ah, uh, so he's like scribbled like, um,. Those runes all all over the crosses. And all over the floor and everything. He's taken the most recent photo, which I guess is the photo that was missing 
from the letter he sent in the last one. We found the note in the last one. Also, I noticed as well, his cross is brown. And I know that's relevant with John. But that's an interesting, uh, interesting uh, little feature there. Little, little detail. Oh. Oh, it's lovely. What a delicious breakfast. You see you. <laughs> That's going to be my go-to excuse when everyone... Good line. But that, that's going to be my excuse anytime anyone, like, uh, targets me for anything. Like, what have you done? I'm just be like, I have the body of a pig. And then completely absolve myself of all responsibility. It's 2 a.m. Gosh, John, you're up early. How did you get here? Have you forgotten already? Probably. Uh, the notes people leave behind seems to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing escape seat. Okay, yeah. Cool. Help you remember what you don't realise you've forgotten. I know a theme... Uh, yeah, a theme of memory and reality and what's actually going on is kind of like an underlying thread throughout all three chapters here. Oh. Lovely. And just in time for Christmas. Yay! Hmm, maybe not. Oh! A churchyard. I'm sure that was supposed to be gates creaking, but it sounded like a train whistle. And just like, yay! All aboard the death train! But yeah, in this one, John's cross is silver. The last one, it was gold. Oh! Oh, there is one. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long-lost friend. Very poetic. Sounds like lyrics to a song. Okay, I think that's the only one there. Yeah. Nice statue. It's Bruce Forsyth. That's not going to mean anything to anyone. Dearest disciple, verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the safe family tomb when you are in need of rest. Gary. Okay, so yeah, like, um, the secret ending for this one is the bad ending, which is a bit unusual, but I figure, I figure I'll go for it just to see what happens. Enter the spirit house. Hi there. Looking good. Love what you did with your hair. Uh, you too, buddy. Hello. Oh. Oh. Did they just die? Did they just like straight up die? Did these skulls light up? So, Spooky John in the mirror has a key. I don't, I don't believe I do, though, do I? I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. You're dead. I mean, you look dead to begin with, but... Ah! Okay. Anything, anything else around here that I can, um... That I can blaze? Blaze. Okay, so let's let's go somewhere. We have pointy statues. So right, up, left, up. <laughs> oh. Oh god. Oh god, it's a baby. It's making baby noises. Alright, I don't like it. Oh, where did it go? There it is. So it hide, hides in the clouds. Oop. 
Whoa. Okay. Very difficult to see. There we go. Ugh, yeah, it had, it had like an umbilical cord and everything, that's gross. And it just kind of exploded into a splatter of blood. Delightful. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close, and I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there. Only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. It kind of, kind of reminds me of that, um, you know, Yane's Games uh, growing my grandpa. Maybe I should try playing that one day. Don't know if anyone would be interested. Leave me a comment down below if you are. Oh, their heads have gone. You've lost your heads. Okay. So... Is it... from here that I follow? What was it? Right, up, left, up, up? Oh yeah, it's like one of the repeating hallway things. Oh. oh god, stop it. Oh no, oh, oh. okay, good. I don't think so. Anyway, this welcome sinner. Uh, I mean, I guess. I've been freed. No more air overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding bru my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Okay, cool. Good, good for you. One moment, I have to pause for a snack. I have tiny men. Um. I love gingerbread men. Oh. Is that bit complete now then? Can I just go back? I like to let them go slightly stale, so they're just a little bit chewy. Like a cake. Okay. So I guess... It's locked. Right, okay, so I guess I need to get the key from Mirror John somehow. Well, by completing the other task, I guess. Purple skull over there, that's a bit... a bit odd. It's a nice statue, I like that. The fact that there's just that there's so many of these bleak open spaces with very little to nothing in them. Oh, he switched sides. Yeah, it does give this atmosphere that something is off and it's just oh, not right. Huh. Ah. What was that? Were they my footprints? Did I did I tread in something? Ew. Oh, 
You're an angel? Oh, I don't think you are. God, it's always the umbilical babies, isn't it? No, turn around. Oh no, John! John! Oh! More I got stuck. Oh. I had a little difficulty turning around then, but that was probably my own thumbs tripping over themselves. I'm not the most dexterous of people. But, um... Well, here we go. Time for another mortis shot. Oh, I hope this isn't a pattern of things to come. Oh well, down the hatch. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to get used to that. <clears throat> right, let's dive back in. Yeah, I must just have trod in something. I'll keep an eye on my timer. I'm gonna have a little bit of a grace period here. I'm a little... No, you are not. Whoa. Okay. I don't think I quite anticipated Violator. it. Violator? I would never. Okay. <clears throat> Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Oh. <laughs> That's an unfortunate message to hear immediately after seeing that. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Oh dear. Yeah, that's, that's never good news for anybody. Oh, wait. The statue. It's changed. It's gone all funky. <laughs> My reflection isn't moving. He's just there. Ow. Okay. Perfectly normal thing to do. Oh, there's the key. Okay, so this is where we can do the thing for the ending, isn't it? We have to do the, um... Pentagram. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is like the most fucked up version of Hansel and Gretel. Okay, so pen pentagram. It's a bit wibbly, but. And then up here again. Pandemonium Regnant. Pandemonium Regnant. Oh yeah, that's kind of like the um, the arc words, isn't it? Well, I did it. Um, enjoy. Ah. Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> that got me a little bit, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Defeated. <clears throat> Notes, new patient, initial consultation, subject, John Thomas Ward. That's me! Dr. James Spinell. PhD in two orderlies. Subject non-responsive for the first half hour, followed by fragmented exorcism narrative. Okay, so he was like completely out of it for a while there. 
Uh, subject unable to maintain consistency in story, for example, stating that Amy was in the basement and then saying she was in the attic. Yep, that, that happened. Um, subject insists incident was the result of demonic possession, cannot declare subject of sound mind, will require several more sessions to fully understand subject's mental state, will advise Martin family attorneys. Okay. So yeah, John was pretty far gone, by all accounts. He, he was not in a good place. He's still not in a good place. Oh, my shoulders. I'm tensing up a little bit here. Need to relax. Our statue's gone back to normal. Okay. I'm still bleeding. You think you would at least try to stifle it or something, but I guess not. Alright. So I can open this now. Oh! And in we go. Interesting sort of like fog of war going on there. I don't know why I would have not been able to see this. But, eh, gameplay integration, I guess. Oop. Groot! Good to see you! Everything... Oh, the music has stopped. Hmm. Don't like it. I just don't like it. Oh, a kid. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. Okay, so we've got some empty nothingness over here. Oh, okay. And it's probably just a go-between screen. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Will you help me? Um, maybe. I can try. Oh. Nope. I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs? The children? The thing that took them? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. Ah, just like Amy. Okay, it's uh, into the cornfields. Okay, I think this is just repeating, so... I don't think I can do this yet. I think I have to do church first. Oh, come on, I could walk behind the spire, right? Nah. Confess thy sins. Oh, boy, how much time do we have? Um, oh. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the Old Snake Meadow Hill Church. Yo, it's Phasmophobia! <laughs> We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly stories we had heard before, evil spirits dragging children to the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel, but there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme, they told us. Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome, we're going to try the game tonight, as soon as we get settled in. Okay. So, 
Let's go and look at these pictures. Oh, that's um, that looks like the Last Supper. I don't know about the others. Okay, candles have changed. We've got a ooh, another spooky purple skull. Get away! Another spooky purple skull. Okay, good. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tapes missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Uh oh. That's that's always such a good trope, isn't it? Like when the um, the paranormal investigators go in and they're like, "Oh yeah, this is going to be a laugh. We're going to have some spooky times." And then something genuinely horrific happens to them, and they're like, "Oh no!" For me, father, for I have said, but she said you get to get fish. I try to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. Oh, John. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me that my best sins. Oh, you poor man. Best sin will be my penance. Bring the child to me. Oh. Perform the sin of temptation. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for him to. For his mercy and yours forever. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a perfectly reasonable request. And just one question, why did your voice do that, and how did I get here? I'm tangled in my wires. Um... Alright, the candles are moving as I move. Um, oh. Is that Mary? Whoever it is, she doesn't look happy. Hmm. Oh, bleeding from the eyes. Good and normal. <clears throat> Night one. Still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth, leading to this hallway. Ah, okay, that explains. <clears throat> Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get the boards off, but some of these doors... That's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. Oh, electronic voice phenomena. You can't hear it on the tape very well, but to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. I don't think you're ever getting back into town. Hmm. No. Okay. <coughs> okay. So let's go up this time. I saw that. So we're gonna have to get the um, the candles both in the same place right, and that's when she, the spindly lady, turns up. Oh no! Someone bent the candle. Oh. oh. Ah. Well, yeah. Okay, that explains a lot. Night two. We're going to be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we'll be trying the spin the lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're going to make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. Okay, yeah. The candles. Okay, nice normal one of the cross. That one not so normal. A saint with their face smashed in. And an angel. Hmm. Looks like the window from the attic. The music has stopped. Oh, okay. Couldn't walk, walk through the banister there. There's got to be a way I can get in there. Okay. This one just looks empty. Normal. 
Watch the candles. Yep, I got that. Got a statue here. Oh. Cross fell off. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's fine. That's probably nothing to worry about. Oh. Oh. She's here. I think. Is that what that means? Oh, I'm just expecting her to jump out at me and do a spooky. Or is she here? Or is she just like following me now? Ah, okay, there she is. Oh god. Whoa. Okay. Hey! Oh, he didn't turn around. That was kind of close. Got her. Carrot cake? I think she actually said heretic. When she appeared, it sounded like she said forces loss. But darkness surrounds thee. Okay, sounds cool. Legs. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past two. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest light shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. That's hella sick, dude. You should write some lyrics with those. Right, I think I can go up and get the... Um, the kid from the cornfield now, right? I like the little swagger that John does with his head, like... There he goes. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah? Are you... I'm not a bad man. I'm a good man. I'm, I'm trying to be a good man. Oh, right, yeah. Um, if I do this, you're gonna follow me? You're gonna. Okay, good. Oh. I'm getting stuck. They are. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to. Did he say they are among us? I mean, I don't, I don't want to meme or anything because it's just a phrase and the internet will do what the internet will do, but... Yes. Follow me, small purple child. No! Okay. Let's try again. Don't be scared. I mean, probably be scared. You probably should be scared. Ooh. A little oh, it's okay. It's not okay. Oh. God damn it. There. Just go. I'm happy to be rid of you. Oh no! I just got snatched up by the claw. Congratulations, you won a prize. 
It's a priest. Ah. Oh. I can't get him to turn around, it just kind of... Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. The shadow. Is it fine? Is it? Oh no, it's not fine. Oh! Skedaddle, John. Skedaddle as fast as your legs will carry you. Ah! No! 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 Oh. Stop it! Stop it! Ah! Okay, at least it didn't teleport close to me that time. Woo! Oh, this is the same one as the Mirror Demon, isn't it? Uh, there it is. I think I can... Oh, oh, he! Don't stand so close to me. Don't stand. Don't stand so close to me. Ah. Ooh. Do that. Okay. Oh, my head. I, I shouldn't be doing this with such a headache. Mm. I'm going to eat tiny men. subject is suffering from delusion. In John's mind, he plays the role of the hero sent by God to protect the innocent. In order to escape the consequences of his actions, he has created his own reality. In order for everything to make sense, he needs to believe in the evil spirits and paranormal occurrences. I recommend an in vivo approach until we can get John to accept the truth. And for the love of God, please have Miss Martin transferred to another facility. Somehow John knows that she is in here with him. Hmm, well that's interesting. If he's able to sense her presence. Okay, so I think now we go down into the basement, don't we? Oh, there's that apparition again. What's this? Ooh. Like a sundial. Got symbols, got plug, plug socket, uh, H, X, TUF. Whoop, oh no. Get off. Okay. Ah, here's the symbols. Okay. That was the top one. Oh. Oi! Okay. So the three ones I can start with. I can't just skadoodle this, can I? No. No, I have to go through a pattern to unlock that, okay. So it's not that one. This one. This one. And then that was next in the sequence, the tooth. It wasn't the plug socket, the plug socket was the second one, so this one? No. Oh, run, John, run, John, run! Ah! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so what's after that one then? Spiral, um, cross on a, on a V, um, Seatbelt plug, X, with arrows, okay. So, that, 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 spiral, cross on a V, seatbelt plug, cross with arrows, so it must then be this one. There we go. Mother of demons. Hmm. Sounds delightful, can't wait to meet her. Oh! They took me to the woodshed. I can't bless the dead tree this time. Okay. Oh! 
Oi! I was just literally about to say I feel so on edge. Ooh. Well, we've got some dead people here with the same symbols. Okay, ooh. <clears throat> Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings. Sterling, Connecticut. Bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nangales, and Troy Inglis are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium Regnat. Okay. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found uh, trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. Killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Wall. No, I didn't do that! The board has impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Oh dear. Investigators are acting residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging people of Sterling not to mourn the loss of Atwood, Nungalis and Ingles, because after all they were degenerate devil worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. <laughs> Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you'd like them to think, wouldn't you, John? Oh, they were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favour when you found them, getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignore their cries for help. You please for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. Oh, God. This is going into overdrive. I can't... Oh. It's not letting me scroll. I have to tap bit by bit. You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the work of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door. Her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul for this, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium regnat satani vitae. Pandemonium regnat satani vitae. Pandemonium regnat satani Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, it's not... I'm just having to do it step by step. It's not letting me scroll. Oh! I love the soundtrack ramping up in the background. This is... I'm here, John. Oh, that was good. Oh! Oh, hi! Um, party for me? Oh, God. Uh. <coughs> oh. <laughs> well, I'm just a Look at me. I'm a little fella. What are these things? <laughs> I love the little bloops. This is, um, this is when I have to do a thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was a, a perfectly normal occurrence. Love it. Well, that was weird. Candy tunnel. Oh, yeah, that... Love it. 
That sounds perfectly fine. It sounds like a great time. Death awaits! Oh, a bonus! Whoa. Bit of a grating noise there. Hello. It's the Millennium Eye. Why are you pointing at that? I have to keep my eyes open. Ah. Yeah, I see. I see the kind of place this is. The, the kind of candy that you're selling. <coughs> Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after the police raided the tunnels, where suspected murderer Joe Bauman, aka the Candy Store Killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bowman was in as was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Okay. Sure. Sure, I believe that. Satin lives. <laughs> oh. Hello. I see you there. Hmm. Someone hiding up there. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. Notorious Candy Tunnel is known in the area to be a home to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indigent, indigent has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bauman, aka the Candy Store Killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. Sounds a bit like something else might be going on here. Oh, there he goes. So I knew I saw something. Neko. Read. Eyes emoji. They'd be looking at my booty. 666, yeah, okay. Got it. So, read. When see... When you see it... Don't... Move. Okay. Simple enough. I don't know why you couldn't have just written that one on one wall, but... Ah. All that. Oh. oh I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Hello. Goodbye. Did you call me mother? What is it with people calling me mommy? I'm a priest. I'm supposed to be a daddy. I mean, what? Hmm. <laughs> Secret tunnel! It was originally here. No. Ah, yes, it was this one. Satin lives. Oh no, even further along. Oh. Uh, this is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody expects, except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Ah, cultists. Twice the month they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really big. Oh dear. I don't bless you, child. <laughs> 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 
Oh, okay. Uh, bless you too, whoever you are. So is this the way I'm supposed to go, or is this a secret way? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh, just... Oh, it feels... It always feels more tense when the music drops out, because it's like... Ooh. But then again, this soundtrack isn't that comforting either. Hmm. Lovely. Okay, so slow. I don't think I'm meant to be here. <laughs> Anything that dark has got to be some kind of... some kind of... Uh, danger. I'm sorry, God, please save me. Oh dear. Well, it looks like it got him and dragged him away. Or her. Ah, here we are. Oh. Oh, my No. You say welcome deceiver. Suffer the children. Suffer the children. There were. I did see a child. Ah, another one. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this. Oh, there he is. You get him, babe. Oh, you like her. Oh. Me, I dream her. They are mine for oh. Yeah, it's the the, uh, the twins. Did you not leave, leave behind like a note or anything? Nothing? No? Hmm, guess not. Okay. <sighs> Breathe a sigh of relief. Whoever that was. You can jump out and kill me or something. He is here? Me? I'm here? You going to warn someone? You lads, enema. Oh. They hate the lot. And they're gone. Hey! I can hear like a heartbeat. Wait. Oh, is that bad for me? It's locked. Oh, it's a door. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh god. Statue, the, the, the statues keep showing up. If they are statues, whatever those grey, sort of like throw your hands in the air like you just don't care, dudes are. Oh, I got it. Right, okay. <laughs> 
Ja, mä. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. We shall visit thee soon. Oh yeah, that's the secret ending thing, right? Hui yui. They were still there. I didn't care. <laughs> I ran past them anyway. Ah, okay, good light. Thank you. Oh no. Hey! Father Garcia coming in clutch. I'll do my best, buddy. Yep. Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no better. Okay. There is no but you do have God. But then the voucher so we let rest. Let us go. Hello. Oh. Wow, nice, nice face. What's your routine? I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, if he I will choose, I shall not be afraid of the terror if he Or if he will set my defeat darkness. I shall behold the reward of the wicked, because I have been the Lord by refuge. You get away from him. <laughs> there shall no evil befall me, for he shall give his angels charge over me. They shall bear me up in their hands, and I shall tread upon the serpent, because I have set my love upon him. Therefore, will he deliver me? There we go. We just gotta oh. he will deliver keep, me keep on his back. There we are. Will deliver me oh. and God I'll face the wrong way. God Amos meets a child on exalted only dead body. God Amos meets a child on exalted only dead body. God Amos meets a child on exalted only dead body. You tell him. Whoop. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, I hate this. Oh. Okay. 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 Everything is good. Everything is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we just... It's fine. <laughs> you too. Okay. No! <laughs> oh. It's this one. The old move that Amy pulled on us the once. Uh oh. No! God damn it! Oh. Yeah, just as I turned around to walk away, there she was right in front of me. Oh, I couldn't react to that quickly enough. Oh. Okay. Okay, time to go for it. Okay, what are we on? I think we're four shots in now. Oh. <coughs> well. I believe this is the end now, so hopefully we should be able to pull through on this. Oh, okay, so it starts from here. That's good. Oh, 
Look out! Look out! Father guys here. Okay, she's gonna. No! Ugh, fine, take me. Take me. <laughs> I'm not going without Father Garcia. A victory without him is not a victory at all. Christ. <laughs> he just did a little hop. A little side hop. Some smooth moves from Father Garcia over there. I. Don't walk into her, you fool. Don't stand in the pentagram, don't stand in the... You're cutting it really close, buddy. You are... You are dicing with death. Feel free to throw up your cross at any time. Good. Whoa. Okay. And it was all a dream. Mm, that's how I feel. When morning breaks. Ah. Back in John's house. What a what a lovely day. Make your bed. You slovenly. <laughs> John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. Ah, so that's who he wrote the letter to last time after we went to visit Amy again. So I guess, um, I guess she left him. Poor guy. He just can't catch a break. Photo. Door. Suspicious amount of crosses. I'm not going in there. Fair. But... Hang on. My insides are burning. <clears throat> Anything on the coffee table? Magazine? TV guide? Ooh. A letter. Subject release for the uh, release form. Subject John Thomas Ward. Date of referral. Release 31st October 1986. Ooh, Halloween. Uh, this form certi certifies that the subject is hereby released from my care after having completed their required counselling and treatment to my satisfaction, with confidence that they are ready to resume their normal daily activities as a mentally stable member of society. Mentally stable. Um, Dr. James Spinell. Existing conditions, mild anxiety, same, acute cholerophobia. Ha! <laughs> this nerd is afraid of clowns. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for saying that now. I'm not going in there. Don't yell at me! I'm sorry I called you a nerd. Is that not the way out? It, then, that. Are we being offered up to it? That's what it looks like. Oh. Is he still in his pyjamas? <laughs> Ending three, initiation. Good. Good. Good and cool. 
New backgrounds unlocked. New effects. New chapter mode. Wow. Oh, my head hurts. I'm just going to check out the backgrounds a second. Cornfield. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, like a couple of our environmental ones. I'm going to keep that one. So, yes, um, that was chapter two, uh, secret ending. Um, I am going to also cut in the uh, regular endings, uh, both um, the ones where uh, Father Garcia survives and one where he dies, uh, just because they have slightly different notes to them. But I'm going to do that a bit later because I'm going to have to play through the chapter again uh, because of the things I did in order to get this um, the bad ending, basically. Um, so I'll splice that in later. Um, I'll, I'll do voiceover on it and everything like that, but um, I'm just not going to do it right now because... Oh boy. Um, okay, I'm splicing in here um, from the future um, to put in the extra endings. This one here should be the uh, the good ending um, in that I didn't do the cult ritual things and I kept Father Garcia alive so uh, there are going to be a few little differences to the end, that's the message from Molly and I think we get a couple of different notes um, at the end here, I'm pretty sure the one in the back door is the same John, we don't have much time. The Provane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. Father Garcia. Okay. And there we have it. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. This time I must not fail, Malfas must be stopped. As the profane Sabbath draws closer, the workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest <coughs> test of faith yet. God have mercy on my soul. There we go, and that's a much more determined ending from him. You can see that he's very much invested now. As, uh, go forth with faith. Yes, exactly. And it's yellow, so that means it's the golden ending, the best ending, the good ending. That's one of the endings, and then the other one, um, we have to go back and, uh, let Father Garcia die, basically. Um... And then the ending isn't that different, I don't think, but it's just like slightly different notes. And I may as well do it as I'm here recording, so uh, I'll go and I'll go and splice that next one in now. Just the fact that we're still going on while walking over his corpse. Ah! Please leave me alone. Ah! Oi! Ah! Oh, no. There we go. Okay, and then this one is the neutral ending. Of course, with it being a dream, obviously Father Garcia isn't actually dead, but it's more like, you know, John's conscious. Conscience? Conscience, yeah. 
And then we should have a letter down here from Father Garcia. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you, Father Garcia. So, yeah. I said I am proud I bear, but did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Aw, oh, poor guy. He's so lost. Oh, he's being followed. And the ending theme seems a bit more minor this time. Ending 2, Road to Redemption. So yeah, on this one he's kind of doubting himself, but still on the right path, sort of, as it were. Oh. Okay. So yeah, there we have it. All the endings for um, Faith Chapter 2. Ooh, and unlocks as well. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was good. So that whole thing was um, a nightmare, a dream at least. Um, but I suppose the thing that stands out to me is um, what Father Garcia said to him, uh, calling him, saying that he wasn't a murderer and that he did the right thing. It's his own subconscious telling him that. It, again, like I said at the end of the last one, he's trying to convince himself that he's doing the right thing, that he's doing good. Um, so yeah. Poor guy. Oh, John. I love John so much. He's so... He, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Chapter 2. That was really good. Um, I enjoyed the last one and enjoyed this one more than the last one it really built upon it there were so many points in this where i could feel myself tensing up because it was just like oh something is going to happen and in, you know like i'm not normally like big with horror horror doesn't normally get me that much i um i felt it here not like huge scares but tension the tension was good, and that's what horror games need a lot of the time. Not jump scares, not just things that go oogie boogie and kill you. Just the feeling of dread that ramps up. And this one, you know, it, it, it really did it really well. So, yeah, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, please do like, comment and subscribe, and let me know down below what you thought. And let me know if there are any other games that you'd like to check out that are like this, or just like anything in general. Any videos you'd like me to watch and react to, any taste tests you'd like my opinion on, all the other general stuff, or if you just want to ask a question or say hello, then let me know down below. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. So until next time, thank you for joining me, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.